What's up, everybody? How are you guys doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome to a Friday night uh, live build with the Artillery Genius. Hope you guys can hear me okay. It's a little bit different not having someone else with me so they can tell me, yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> but how are you guys doing tonight? I hope you are doing great. Let's see. From Senegal. Hey, I'm doing great. How about you? Tripods Garage. How are you doing? I'm from Dan. How are you? Andrew S. TK is in the house. Rogue was in the house. Shane was here earlier. Just looking through chats here. Radmaster, how's it going? Everybody says we can hear you. Awesome. A little bit different setup tonight. Uh, playing. I'm, I'm doing my first build on my new in work or in progress uh, table here. Yeah. My microphone is slightly hiding up in this area, so trying something different tonight. There we go. Still working on Instagram dumper. Yeah, thank you, Shane. I appreciate that, and yes, you are correct. It is garbage. It used to be easy, I, I you know, and then it, it isn't anymore. <laughs> nice. How's it going? Volang. Hope I said that right. Brad, how are you? So I kind of got a little bit of split screen. I got chat in, a, in my camera up over here. And uh, yeah, we're going to rock. Chris Travis is in the house. Like I said, we have this uh, artillery genius we need to put together. Um, you know what? Everybody I have talked to who's had this printer said they really like it so i'm super excited to get this thing put together and get a print going tonight hopefully <laughs> i'm probably going to jump into it pretty quick because it's it was nine o'clock my time p.m and and uh, i don't want to keep you all up too late tomorrow morning i get a I get to go play and do a wedding in oshkosh wisconsin yes my camera makes the box look huge i've heard that before <laughs> this is a pretty deep box, though, like tall box. Pretty good size box. But I did realize, I just saw there's a, let's see if I can peel it. My address is up here, and if I open this to show you, we don't want that showing. Wendy, how are you? Good to see you. How's Casey's printer going? Haven't heard from him in a couple weeks. Hopefully that thing is printing awesome. One Raz, how are you? Am I passing around coffee? Not today. So yeah, I'm. Uh, what's the size of the printer? You know, that's a great question. Um, what I'll do quick before we go any further, let's look this thing up real quick, and I'll show you some specs. You know the good stuff 220 220 by 250 220 220 by 250 let me go share this here chrome tab there we go so boom boom so this is said printer artillery genius <coughs> excuse me Currently on the artillery website, it is three nineteen. Um, if we scroll down here, it's got quiet steppers, a synchronized dual Z, a touch screen. It's two twenty by two twenty by two fifty. Um, anything else? Filament runout, ninety five percent. Pre-assembled. It's what it says, at least. Package includes some tools, a USB drive, and the printer. And this is what it'll look like when we're ready. Kind of a cool printer. Got it. 
Yeah, a little bit smaller than the Ender 3. Uh, yeah, because the Ender 3, technically, you could push 235 by 235. But that's what we got cooking. Uh, this was sent to me by Artillery. Um, all opinions are my own, but they asked me to... Uh, they sent it to me, obviously, to do, do a video and check it out and kind of uh, review it or show everybody. So that's what we're going to do. Um, obviously, we're just going to set it up. I can't do a full-blown review or something, but we can set it up and see how it goes. Sean Bradley, how are you? I will message you later. Let's see. Did I miss, did I miss something? I must have missed something, maybe. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> tripods garage thank you so much first frosty beverage on me i really appreciate that yeah i have i have a sidewinder x1 um the version 4 generation 4 whatever you want to call it it's right over here you can actually see it like right there ish and um and yeah so that is where that is but thank you so much tripods garage 4.99 as Joel would say, are you out of your mind? <laughs> Tyler West is here. Nice. So I'm actually I'm actually drinking the water tonight. I got the water going. What about you guys? What are you drinking? Let me know in the chat. Let's hear what you're drinking. While I'm talking, I'm going to put my... I'm a modeling a screen mod for the X1 and tinkering with it. Nice. Uh, Brad, I don't know. There's not, I don't know if there's too much of a difference. Diet Coke. Nice water. My good man. That's what I like to hear. So I'm going to put my mouse and keyboard way over there. We're going to start getting this thing going. Um, from BC. Nice. How you, how you doing? Just finished my third <laughs> water, right? Chocolate milk. I love chocolate milk. Good evening. How's it going? <laughs> so yeah, I got the water going today or tonight, I should say. I got a I got a long day tomorrow. I got a I got a wedding. I have to uh, to DJ tomorrow, and it's about an hour away, so it's gonna be a long day. So that's okay though. So I use my trusty knife. We cut her open. Dan, five bucks. A penny more just because. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Uh, coffee. I, I love coffee. If it wasn't so late, I'd have more coffee. Of course, I need to get healthy. It's time to, it's time to get healthy in my life. So I'm going to take some foam out. Naturally, there's always a lot of foam. I'll tip this up so you guys can see it. I should just hang a, a camera above here. Whew. There we go. That is the inside. Having some rum. That sounds good. There it is. Dan, thank you so much. So that's the inside of the box. Everything's packed pretty nice. Uh, right in the center, as we saw. Instructions. In the center of that, their filament holder. Looks very similar to the Sidewinder, except this might actually have thumb screws in it. Power cable. That has one thumb screw. All right. And then a bag of stuff in a nice little, let me get that out of there. There we go. A nice little genius bag. <laughs> so this is interesting. We'll have to look around in here. But. This, these are the um, spool holders, right? And I don't know if you can see. It's kind of hard. I'll show you in a little bit. Basically, one there's <laughs> there's only one thumb screw that I see. You probably need two. <laughs> Gonna buy this just for the bag. I love it. More foam. Foam, foam, everybody, foam. All right. Packing's always really nice. Uh, art artillery, from what I've seen, their packaging has been awesome. Andrew S., how's it going? 
I said that earlier. Oh, Jerry's in the house. Hey, Jerry, how are you? Jerry, how's your laser going? I haven't, I haven't uh, paid, an, paid enough attention to see how your laser was going. Um, <laughs> just in case I'm wondering, I'm Wendy Sean. All right. Hey, Sean. How are you? So this, this is the gantry. I'm just going to kind of get everything else out, and then we can look at it. Uh, interesting. It is injection molded uh, plastic. All of the blue looks like it's injection molded plastic on this one. Dan or and or somebody can show that what Kenneth said. Unless oh there we go. Thank you. I don't know why they blocked that. You're just. Uh, trying to help out you know it's weird that they block stuff like that so let me show you how deep this box is thanks tyler oh look at this and that's a this is a deep deep box <laughs> uh i had to come up to my computer nice you got a beast of a computer now andrew s uh recently modeled something for me i i really need to I need to get on that. Let's see, how the heck am I going to get this out? Interesting. So this thing is like wedged in here so much. Nice. That's okay, Dan. No worries. Let's see. Flip the box. I normally would, but this thing was wedged in there so good, I thought it was just going to come flying out. Let's make sure there's nothing else. I got to tell you, it was definitely wedged in there. And by wedged in there, I mean, let me flip this camera here. So check this out. It was wedged in here so much, there's a fan indent in the foam. I mean, that's, this, is a, this is a really deep box, but... That's how, <laughs> I mean, you can see all where all the parts were in here. So that's, that's fun, you know. Oh, all right. Too much foam. Too much foam. Boxes out of the way. There we go. We have a base. Come a little closer there. Maybe. There we go. Hello, hello, everybody. Henry Lynn, how are you? Okay, Brian Ruggles. Boiler Ram, a.k.a. Wingman 2. All right, so I'm just going to pull out that sweet old manual. <laughs> no wobbly table today. No, you know, so um, right after Christmas, I did some streams, and we had some awesome, awesome donations, and I was doing the wobbly table um, <laughs> thing, and uh, you guys donated some, some awesome money. And what I did was I'm putting together a, a sit-stand desk slash workbench. And so basically I can, uh, I can raise this one. I can lower it. I can sit here. I can stand here. But um, I'm putting together. I bought the, the electric base. And then I put together the top uh, with some um plywood some some plywood and then i used like vinyl flooring you know and uh so yeah we're doing that for the top now i still got to finish around the sides and i'm gonna i'm gonna print some um drawers that i can put underneath to store stuff in and i gotta do some cable management a little bit but loving it yeah i had a pooch table but i collapsed it <laughs> all right so this is the book. 
the genius instruction manual and it's actually really thick but i'm willing to bet there's multiple there's multiple um, languages in here that's what's going on so so there's definitely <laughs> a lot of languages in there but i'm going to go to step one that is a hefty book yes <laughs> excuse me you know i better check something I forgot that to make sure Nightbot is not blowing people up and not putting wrong links out there, too. Nope, we're good. Good. Just to be safe. You know. <laughs> Imitation pooch table. Well... You know, pooch tables are notoriously known for being super strong, as you saw on the stream. Uh, all right, we're going to start putting this bad boy together. We'll get right into this thing. Nice, <laughs> nice bug splatter. Yeah, true story. Um, you can see nice pictures. Uh, I didn't read the words yet, but I'm hoping there's nice English. And, and honestly... And honestly, there is three, four steps to putting it together. And I just showed you them all. <laughs> so four steps to putting them together like that. It's literally just putting the gantry on. And that is it. So align the X and the Z gantry to the base. Make sure the cable connectors slides into the female connector on the base. Fit the gantry with four, count them four, M5 by 40 screws, and I'm assuming that's in our bag. How you doing? Let's see. Just going to get all the tools out. So in the bag, in the bag, in classic artillery fashion, we got an extra ribbon. We have a bag. It came with some extra parts, some zip ties, a little piece of PTFE, another nozzle, uh, and some wheels. So, you know, that's actually pretty awesome. See if you can see that. There you go. So it came with a little bag of extra parts. Of course, USB. Uh, I'm sorry, USB cable, USB drive. Um, in, in classic fashion, we have an 8 to a 10 milli, 8 and a 10 millimeter wrench. Which is awesome. Kiss is always a good decision. I love it. Uh, all of our screws and everything are in here. And it's really only four. The whole kit comes with four screws uh, or bolts and Allen wrenches. And that's it. So let me just make sure. So each one... Each one of these bolts gets a lock washer. So there's one. This camera angle is interesting, is it? Trying something do different today. That will go missing half the time. <laughs> uh, how big is the base on the thing? I was actually looking to put it on my desk. Um, give me a second. I'll measure it. In place of an Ender 3, huh? You know, I had a, uh, I know a couple people that got one. Garrett over at 3D Print Farm has one of these, and he absolutely loves it. Thing is awesome, he said. You know, it looks like they gave me an extra one. So that's awesome. So they gave me five. And then we have <laughs> a random little screw, a T-nut. And a really, really little screw. So we'll see what those are for in a little bit. You know what I haven't seen yet? I haven't seen the other... Uh, this is what I was showing you. So this is the spool holder. And you can see right here, that's a thumb screw here, but there's not one here. So I'm hoping we can find it. We'll see. We will see. 
Maybe maybe I'll dump the box out. Maybe it's in there. So, first thing we need to do is put our gantry on. I've not been watching chat. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's a wrench, yes. Jim needs a zip tie. I have a few zip ties. Like, a lot of few. Um, like a 10 millimeter socket. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, but it better. Uh, it's better than the stamp steel. That's true. That is the risk of a live stream. <laughs> Howdy, the Godfusta. All right, so we're gonna put our uh, gantry on. I'm gonna take the tape off of our connectors here, just so it's out of my way. And I'm gonna show you this real quick. So, see that there's a there's actually a connector. If this will focus, right there. There we go. That you have to make sure that gantry goes in when you put this on. So, that is uh, something we're gonna have to do. What's nice is they do these holes here, so the gantry has to go in the one place. But right there it looks like. A connector on the gantry will have to fit into that. So that's something we'll have to be careful with as we do this. So we will do it. Let's do it. All right, I'm just going to get cable out of the way. We're going to carefully... Oh, I see... There's actually another little cable that plugs in there. That's good. All right. That actually sat in really nicely. It sat down into that connector right there really nicely. And uh, there's a little end stop cable here, I'm assuming, that we will plug in. Maybe. <laughs> There we go. And we'll worry about cables in a second here. Let's get this thing screwed in. Did you check the voltage yet? I haven't. Um, we'll see if there's a spot to check the voltage in a minute. Agreed. PCI Express looking port. Yeah, kind of. Um, <laughs> weird breakout board. Kind of, yeah. It, it's kind of interesting, though, because it's a cool way to hide... I mean, it's, it's obviously because of the ribbon cables, right? Um, but it's a cool way to hide the electronics from coming up. It's kind of cool. Looks like a nice 3D printer for this for its size. Yeah, so far it is. Like I said, this is all like injection molded stuff, um, which is sweet. It, I love the color of it. The blue is phenomenal. Let's get these in. We're going to pull out... I'm going to pull out my other Allen wrenches here because why not? Oop, wrong one. Hope you guys all had a great week. There we go. My week went by super fast and I was super busy. No reason to check voltage in the U.S. It works or it doesn't. Kind of, yeah. I mean, it's not like the opposite where it could go real wrong. But uh, I just dropped that Allen wrench. I'm just screwing in a couple of these. Because this thing is in here so tight already, it makes it super easy to do this part. I am not going to tighten them down until I have all four in. Great week. Happy Friday. Yes, you too. Does it have a 32-bit board in it? I'll have to look. I'm assuming, but I don't I shouldn't assume. You never know, but <laughs> it works or it smokes. Yes, that's a true story. Works or it smokes. So basically, I, I can spin this around to show you. There's four bolts that go underneath the gantry uh, that hold two in on this side and two in on the other side. And that's it. 
And so far, now I'm going to, here, I'll, here, I'll do this. Let's get a camera going. Why not? There we go. There we go. So you can see I'm just tightening these in. I love these T-handle Allen wrenches. Love the color. Me too. And it matches my T-handle Allen wrenches, you know? So we got two on this side and two on the other side that we're going to tighten in. This thing is really light. I mean, it is... Uh, I'm going to do these now. I mean, it's it's super light as far as, you know, it's, it's not crazy heavy or anything. You see the fans under there? That's an awesome thing. It has a grill, and uh, it's got the fans, which is I, I think is really nice because that will allow some actual ventilation underneath the case here. <laughs> Magic Smoker, taste of success. I love it. Oop, I missed. Don't tell anyone, I missed. All right. So, here's what we got back here. Uh, an on-off switch, a power, and... I don't think I see a way to switch it. Let's go look. Yeah. I mean, it's not immediately jumping out at me where a switch would be, but let's look at the next step and see what it is. When it comes to useful tools, I like Adam Savage's opinions. Yeah, jack of all trades, master of none, yet better than the master of one. That's a true story. I love I love the tested channel. I love uh, his his videos. He puts out a ton of them, which is awesome, and it's great because I walk around and I can listen at work and stuff. Um, put E5 together, hole in case for switch, but no switch on the power supply box. Huh? Interesting. It might be auto switching. Yeah, I'm gonna go to step two here, which is the spool holder. Oh, <laughs> I stand corrected. It only needs one thumb screw and we're going to show you that here in a second this is kind of cool actually this is kind of cool yes it definitely is direct drive i have another direct drive coming um my friends at Sovol. i was on a live stream with them this past uh tuesday night and they're going to shoot me over an svo3 and then we're gonna have a little fun. I'm gonna I'm gonna check it out. We'll do a stream like this with it, and then uh, I'm gonna have a little fun and do like a, a, um, what's it called? A, a direct drive like shootout kind of video because I have this one. I have the Ender three v, Ender Ender three v two. I'm sorry, the CR ten v three. We have the Sidewinder. Um, trying to remember all the ones I have that are direct drive anymore. Yeah. I have another one around here somewhere. I just don't know where it is. But it'll be fun. Nice, Kenneth. I, I'm super excited because um, I'm thinking my Prusa Mini might ship soon. And uh, that will be stinking awesome. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. Soon, I'm going to have another camera like this one on a tripod. And I'm going to have it set for a, another static shot. And it's going to be, a, a, it, it's a, I have another DSLR, but I need the, uh, I need to get the capture card and another HDMI cable. So that'll be awesome. Um, but it'll be fun because I'll be able to, I'll be able to do like this shot, maybe an overhead shot, and then maybe one from another side angle or something. Um Oh, nice. That's cool, Kenneth. So, how do I show you this? 
So in the top of this, I'm just going to tip it. I'll get over it. So in the top of this, there are some slats right here. And that is where our... Um, that is where our spool holder is going to go. One in like that. And this is why there's only one of those thumb screws. <laughs> Rester, how are you? Going to bed. It's 428 in the morning. Hey, man, have a great night. I hope you have a great day tomorrow as well. I'm not in your studio. I don't know what you're talking about. But. Maybe I missed something. So then your second one will go in the second slat, if I could see it, like that. Okay. This one's static, and this one will slide. So you can uh, adjust it a little easier than the X1. And then on the back, you uh, grab a roll of filament which I need to go grab because I don't have one near me. I, I just picked up the room, too. Um, and then on the back here, you use your thumb screw to hold it into place once you get your filament on there right here. That adjusts the size. I really like that. Um, I do. I really like that. What color should we do today? You know, that's one thing I didn't see. I'm gonna look in this box again, but I didn't see any uh I didn't see any test filament. Maybe I missed it. But we'll look. We will look. So I'm gonna leave that there for now. We'll go on to step number three. <laughs> you should make one of these, Jim. What what should I make? We should make what? That's that's genius. That was a good one. Where's Brian Vines when you need him? All right, connect the Z and stop connector in both stepper motors. Then plug the connectors of both ends of the filament runout sensor. So I'm guessing this is your filament runout sensor here. My guess is it would go over away from that and plug in. Oh yeah, right there. Kind of interesting, though. It might be in the way. Yeah. Loyal Moses in the house. $99. Whoa. Start over again. I was late. Oh, boy. We could do it. Just for you. And I'll go put my Christmas pajamas on as well. There we go. So this is interesting. Let's see if you can see this. See this right here? That's your uh, filament runout sensor cable. I'm not sure. I might see if I can zip tie this down or something because you think your spool might hit that. But yeah, well, Moses says he's late, but that's okay. We we're just getting her going. It's it's a super simple build. If I wasn't talking, it would have probably been 10 minutes or less. Um, but while you're here, this is the new uh, workbench slash table I've been streaming on the last week or two and working on getting together. And this is all because of uh, people like yourself, Loyal Moses, and everyone else who donated after Christmas during my live streams. Um, this is, I bought an electric uh, base. And I'm building the table myself so I can uh, raise it up and down. It can go way up and it can go way down. And we can uh, check it out. So basically now all I need to do is it looks like connect all my cables. Um, there are basically your end stops, your both sides of your Steppers here. Matt, how are you? So if I can get the cable in there, that would be amazing. But yeah, no more wobbly table. Now I have the wobbly table still because it's stainless steel and it's awesome for my resin uh, stuff because it really does a great job. 
But currently, it's just holding a bunch of stuff because that's what flat surfaces do, right? <laughs> All right, so I got those two done. One there, one there. Nope, looks like there's one in the front. <coughs> Excuse me. You should come down and both of both you and I can crash Tim's CR30. I wish. I got a wedding tomorrow. Thank you, Loyal. I, I just saw your comment about the table. It's getting there. Um, it's going to have some cool stuff when I'm done. It's got a, a mounted power um, or surge protector underneath with uh, USB ports. Um, so I can like charge things straight off of it or hide them back underneath. Um, I'm actually going to print a bunch of slide out drawers. I mean, you, you kind of have to print them. I could order them on Amazon, but I mean, I kind of have to print them, right? So I'm going to print a bunch of them, just kind of place different ways underneath and I'll be able to put, you know, store all sorts of cool stuff. And, uh, I'm, I'm pretty pumped about it. I love the top with that, um, with that laminate floor, you know, basically laminate flooring. I just glued it down, snapped it together and glued it down. And this stuff is super durable. So, but, uh, ta or I'm sorry, uh, Matt. Yeah, I wish I could. I was down there last week. We were, I was down there Saturday and then I uh, hung out down there. We did a stream Saturday night and I came back early. I left by like 6 a.m. early Sunday morning to get back. Yes. Some wobble is good. Yeah. Well, this one I can push back and forth. It's actually on casters. So I did put it on casters so I can move it all around, which I love. Um, I can actually lock the casters in if I want to as well, which is great. Printing a maker coin first. Maybe I have one. Someone I know named Tyler West designed it. All right. Let's see what else we got to do. Oh, on this side, it looks like. Look at that. This is a little uh, like trim piece. Let's see. I don't know if you can see that very well. Yeah, a little trim piece. It popped down to something. I think it was like right there. <laughs> something like that. But there's a, a little cable right here I need to connect real quick. Matt, you're having like a, a Saturn party. Over there. Let's see. How would I connect it the correct way? Like that. It's hard to see. What's happening, guys? Greg, how are you? I think all of the mods are here today. There we go. Connected. Check. Make sure we're here. Check, check, check. There's really not much to do on this thing. I'm loving it. Um, there will be something on... The right side I need to do. Uh, when I get this up, it looks like, well, maybe. Maybe the ribbon cables are already done. You know what? That's a pretty cool thing. So on the on the Sidewinder, you had to raise this up, and there was a ribbon cable um, that went in, like, right here. But that little uh, connector earlier took that, took that over, which is awesome. Which is awesome. Nothing listed about the PSU it's listed. No, it's not. Uh, well, it's down to two right now. Nice, Matt. That's awesome. <laughs> well, Moses is trolling. Oh, someone needs to pay to mute Tyler. That is funny. Here we go with that again. Tyler is a great sport when it comes to be being paid to be muted. Um you know, let's just see something real quick. While you're here, let's just get this out of the way. Woo! Woo -hoo. Oh, what do we got? Like almost 70, 67 people watching ish. Nice. Let's see if this works. I'm just curious. Ah, it did work. I'm playing with a stream deck, trying to make my life a little easier. And um, let me do this. We're going to find out. I don't think it lists what... what. Um, how many screws are we talking? A lot. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, there's this. <laughs> there's warning. Uh, <laughs> warning. Void if the seal is broken. There's actually a, a sticker underneath. All right. Let's cut this zip tie here. Chris from Kersey Fabrications. How are you? Good to see you. So there's a zip tie. We'll cut this bad boy. Here we go. Uh-oh. Is Lindsay here? Am I in trouble? <laughs> no. I think Lindsay's sleeping. I think she went to bed. Uh, we, we put the little guy down. And... Um, and I think she went to bed because she's got a long day with the little guy tomorrow. Oh man, four ninety nine, four ninety nine for Tyler to become tribute again. <laughs> Tyler says five, five bucks to time him out. Well, ooh. So is this like a, I'm supposed to time Loyal Moses out because you donated five? I'm, I'm really confused. Or are you paying to time yourself out? You got it. <laughs> oh, thank you, Tyler. Thank you, uh, Loyal Moses. Um, and <laughs> Tyler's been timed out for 300 seconds. <laughs> uh, once again, now there's a little more of you here. What are you guys drinking? I got water tonight. Um, let's see. So what's the next step? Adjust the eccentric nuts with the spanner supplied on the X and Y carriages. If they're loose, let's see. I don't think that's loose. Eh, it's actually not loose either, but I am going to take off. Uh, let me think about this. I'm going to take off the paper because we're done doing that. <laughs> Matt B says, Chris, did you ever get your Artist D issues straightened out? <laughs> oh, man. The Artist D. That is a printer that I have sitting on my garage floor with stuff on top of it currently. There is a, literally, there's a sticker on the glass bed here. That's not cool. All right. Water. We got uh, line and kugels. Shane's got some line and kugels. Nice. Some vodka. All right. Tyler's definitely a good sport, Tyler. Thank you for being a good sport. Uh, <laughs> 200 seconds to do something without him responding. So I might tighten that a little bit. There's two stickers. There's a 110 volt and a some other garbage. We're gonna have to get out the old. We'll have to get out the old uh, spray and get that get rid of that stuff. Let's see. So I think we officially put everything together, which is great. And, yeah, step five says, now you can connect the power and turn the machine on. Woo! I hope my pro model from Kickstarter doesn't have the same issues. Me too, Bert, uh, Me too, Matt B. I really hope they listen to uh, everybody that got one to test, and including myself. And uh, they put a little time in and they fixed it. Definitely let us know, though. And if anybody's in Wisconsin... And once a beta artist D, you can have it. Just let me know. I'll give it to you. It's yours. Um, not saying it's not an okay printer. I'm saying I don't have time to make it an okay printer. <laughs> Is that fair? I think that's fair. Ooh, it kicked on right away. So it might be auto switching. I, we never did look. We should we, we should have to look. <coughs> Greg Gustum says, I'll drive. Someone says, I'll drive up and get it. Someone says, I'll take it. 
we're, we can work it out. Shoot me an email if you're serious. And we'll, we'll work that out. Um, the Meg Block is working decent. It's not bad. I, I, I mean, it does some cool stuff. And I need to play with it a little more. To make it even do cooler stuff, but it does. It's cool. How about yours? I know you got one too. Um, <laughs> yeah, Quebec is a little bit far. So I I plugged it in and it instantly came on, which means the switch was on. Okay, but it didn't come on, which means it is officially, um, it is officially switched to the right power. Right. There's a touch screen to here. Look at all those offers. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, Oshkosh is 30, 40, 30 to 40 minutes away. Not, yeah, I'll be there tomorrow. I will be there tomorrow. Just wondering, you finally got ours, so now I need to do the review on it. Okay. Oh, finally fixed it. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's official. I'll drive up tonight. <laughs> oh, that is uh, funny. All right, I'm going to turn this so I can actually see. So it wants me to go um, preheat the um, preheat the PLA here. So it says go to tools uh, and heat to preheat the nozzle and the bed. Wait till they're both heated up and then wait for a minute and then go to level it. So... I'm going to add some uh, temperature here. Let's see what we got. I'm going to actually move the gantry way up, too. And let's see. Make sure that all works okay. And woohoo! So I'm, I'm 210 and uh, 60 is what I'll go to. Let's go. Holy moly, that's fast. Woo! Sent email, but probably too late. Uh, it's, if you're talking about the artist D, it would be, it would be like pickup only. <laughs> I'm not shipping it. The box it came in is literally, it's, it's long gone by now, but it's literally, it was the size of a spare tire. It was, it was a monster. Um, but check this out. I mean, that's pretty freaking quick. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, Moses will be able to outbid you by a long shot. Military and five and a half kids <laughs> equals broke. Hey, yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what. We'll see if someone we'll see if someone donates to to mute uh, to time out Moses for 300 seconds. <laughs> Uh, let's see. At least it's uh, four feet. <laughs> yeah, Adam, that's funny. <coughs> I got um, my sidewinder was, uh, I believe, a um, return or something. I'm not sure, but it came. I actually have the bag. It came with a genius bag, not an art, not a sidewinder bag. <laughs> Brian Vines and I did a stream together on unboxing and stuff, and it was hilarious. His had some different stuff. No one wants to time out Moses. <laughs> Many of us are broke. Yeah, that's true. It's right after, right after uh, uh, Christmas, especially. Um, so we got it powered up. We got it heating. Let's see. It is already heated up. Definitely warm. Definitely warm. I feel uh, heat and on both, which is great. Um, I, now that I blocked my way to my paper towel, I'll grab it. Little paper towel. I'm just going to clean up the bed here. I want to double check, but I am almost a hundred percent sure that this did not come with any, uh, with any test filament. And if that's true, that is the first printer I've gotten without test filament ever. 
little isopropyl. Don't worry, I'm okay on the isopropyl. I actually just found uh, Amazon had a, a Amazon has it all over now, but I just got hooked up with uh, with a bunch of it, and it was really good deal, so I bought it. So this thing. You can see, I'm going to bring this up to the camera. You can see, you always want to, let's see, wipe. You can see all that yellow? That's the third time I've wiped that, and it still was coming off. And, uh, uh-oh. So, <laughs> oh, Tripods Garage timed out Moses. All right, fair is fair, right? Fair is fair. Mods, uh, <laughs> Moses puts a sad face on. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, look at it. This is just crazy. I'll bring this closer. Moses was, <laughs> I know. Here. I mean, that was, what, the fourth time I wiped it? And you can see that stuff is nasty. So make sure you clean your bed. Make sure you clean your bed. All right. Well, <laughs> I can't believe it. That was good. That was funny. Uh, throw that over there. So now it wants us to level it, um, essentially, like we would normally level. I'm going to use the piece of paper that they sent right here with the checklist, at least on certain surfaces. What are we talking about? IPA and a light scuff. Maybe. I, I, I don't think I'll scuff this one. It's got that glass. Um, you know, it's actually a, a nice looking bed. Hopefully it works good. Um, let's see. What do we got? I just want to make sure. <laughs> Hmm. Interesting. All right. There we go. So let's level this bad boy. Now I'm on. <laughs> now I'm on the. Yeah, you might be. He's gonna. He's gonna come back with a vengeance. So I'm gonna hit level, and I'm gonna go to the first point. This thing is fast. Look at this. It's hauling. I'm gonna put that under it so when it <laughs> when or if it crashes. The wheels are real easy to turn. I like that. Uh, wow, this thing is smoking, man. <laughs> just don't just don't wait around me. Matt B. <laughs> Everybody's saying I'll have to be there. I couldn't be the one to time him out. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, this thing is very fast. I think that's about good. We'll hit three. I mean, like, I like to keep paper underneath at all times just in case, but I do like that it raises between spots. Uh, I like that it's built in. This one's way off or something. Holy moly. There we go. Good enough. Next. Woo! I mean, you could you could level super fast with this thing. Let's see. Uh, someone won a 3D chameleon. That's awesome. Chameleon. That's awesome. Oh, this thing. Oh, you know what? Might help if I'm going the right way. Here we go. Um, maybe. Hey, we finally got paper. Okay. So we'll go to first again. There is a fifth one. That one's actually pretty decent. Next. That one's too much. 
Trust me, I usually do. I usually don't win anything. Where did you win the uh, chameleon at? Next. Whoo, too much. So I had a video that was going to come out today about leveling, which is funny. Um, just kind of a, like a quick update refresher kind of video on the V on the Ender Three V Two. But I didn't release it today. I'll probably release it tomorrow. Most of you guys know how to level already, but I like to do those videos once in a while too. Hoop, we're off again. No auto leveling, no. But this thing is really fast. 81 people. How are you? See. I mean, this thing, like, seriously. I'm, I'm shocked on how fast this thing is. Let's go check the center. Look at that. That's nice. All right. Well, I officially think leveling is not bad at all. We'll find out. There we go. We'll home it. I think it's it's super fast though. Hanover Park. Astro Print Liam's channel. Nice. That's cool. Uh, I Kenneth, I'm with you. I like the solid bed mounts and the probe myself, but this one doesn't have it. But but I tell you what though, I I know that they um, it's capable because in the book here it shows how you can hook up your auto battle leveling <laughs> nice how long we got on moses is he back not yet huh so as he would say you got so many seconds to say whatever you want real quick <laughs> oh he got it well moses is back <laughs> tripod just won a timeout all right Mods, uh, you know what to do. <laughs> See you later, tripod. See you in 300 seconds. All right. Be careful. Don't hit the uh, reset button, it says. And you can change LED lights while it's printing. Uh, I am not going to set up a slicer right now. We're going to see what's on the card. But first, we need some filament. You know, I have an idea. Uh, give me one second. I'm going to grab some filament. Ooh, I bet your RAM is nice if it has that blue color. You know, with everybody timing everybody out, which I'm cool with, <laughs> I think it's time to bust out the printed solid Jesse neon brown. Because when everybody's timing everybody out, it's a total <laughs> crap show. No, I'm just joking. Uh... Silicone springs on the ender. Nice. You do it. How are you? So we got the printed solid Jesse PLA in neon brown. Just so you know, it's neon brown. Nice color. Gotta love it. And now we can adjust the uh, spool holder here. So you can take the left side and it kind of goes back and forth. We find our filament. It's going to sit on there like this. And that looks about nice. It rolls. Let's just let, let it roll off. There we go. And then I'll uh, tighten it in the back with that thumb screw. I really like that. I really, really do like that. What do we got? Tripod was timed out. Let's see. Sorry, tripod. 
Hey, fair is fair. Fair is fair. I'm not sure you could time me out, but if someone wants to pay to try, we could try it. <laughs> I don't know if it would work. All right. I made that in the trash can. So uh, I'm going to push the filament down right here through the filament runout sensor. I kind of wish these were down by the hot end myself. And I can't really see. Here we go. So I, I do wish this was down here. Uh, you know, on any of the direct drive machines, I'd rather see my filament runout sensor right near the hot end. So I'm actually going to go back. Let's move this thing because it's so fast. You might as well. I want to see if there's anything in here. So there is a little bit of PTFE in the top here. Let's see. If, let's see. Is there a load filament? Oh, there is. We'll go in, confirm, and we'll let it pull it in. Let's see if we can show that a little better. Maybe. Hey, look. There you go. Look at that. Pushing it in. It's asking me to confirm. I did. Hey, let's do it one more time. Oops. Nice. Thank you, Logitech Cam. So we officially know that they did have other filament. It looks like it was black, if I saw that correctly. Yeah. So that's cool. Must have been testing. So <laughs> Sorry, tripod. Did someone, did someone time me out? Let's see. There we go. Jerry, as soon as I have time, and, and it's not when I'm at work. I think you chatted, I think you streamed the other day and I was at work. Thanks for taking care of that one, Dan. Um, somehow a manager on another channel is hidden from the channel, so only mods can see his comments. <laughs> That's funny. All right, here's the, I don't even know what time it is. We're good. All right, here's the. USB drive. I'm going to pop this in. It goes in right there. So it sticks straight up, which I kind of like. Comes down to preference. Inductive because it can't bend the probe. Yes. Amen. I'm back. Tripod's back. How was your 300? We'll call it the big 300. All right. Let's go see what's on this bad boy. Is there anything on this bad boy? Hey, there's a cube. We're going to print it. So uh, let's let's talk a little bit about what we saw so far. Um, number one, book, really nice. Uh, really, really nice book. So far, um, the English seems to have been gone through. There is slicer instructions if you want to use them. I'm probably just going to set up my own in Prusa Slicer. So once I get that going, I can uh, throw that out there with my other ones. Uh oh I better turn that off. Whew! I bet you guys heard that. So the fan in my garage heater decided it was going to make a crazy uh, racket, like you just heard there. Um, so a couple nights ago, I actually, um, I actually tweeted at Mr. Heater because this is a, a Mr. Heater Big Max. Uh, it, it's a natural gas. I have it running off natural gas. Uh, you can run it off propane too. Um, but basically, I tweeted him and said, "Hey, this thing's making a crazy noise. Can you help?" And they said, "Chat or you know DM me." So I did, and they are going to send me the parts. They didn't, you know. I just didn't know who it was or anything like that, so I don't think it mattered. But uh, they just said, what model do you have? We'll send you the parts, and they're going to send me the fan and the housing, which is awesome. I probably should check this. Ooh. Yeah, looks good. Or not. 
Doesn't look good. Doesn't look good. This is why I should pay attention. <laughs> Let's see. We are going to stop. I got to adjust the uh, Z offset while it's printing there. Just, just a hair off. All right. We'll do that again real quick. Confirm. We'll go to options. More. Oh, you know, we might not be able to. There might not be an adjustment. So. See if that works. I'm hoping there's a, a baby stepping or a Z offset. Uh, best 300 ever. I love it. But yeah, it's really cool that they're going to shoot me over the parts, and I, I appreciate that. That's awesome. Stop back more. Change for heat. There's not. <sighs> well, what the heck? Interesting. I don't know if you can see it, but it's currently not sticking. And I thought this thing was pretty, pretty dialed in. Let's see. Interesting. Weird. Let's make it a little closer. Let's see what happens. I mean, at least this thing is very fast. I mean, to heat up, to move, you saw how fast it was. All right. <laughs> this one here? Yeah. I, I don't know. It, it kind of goes both ways. It's nice because it's not sticking out anywhere. So you could really stack these things, you know, closer to each other or something. But um, I might, I might run into it. We'll see. <laughs> You're going to print something. I'm so curious. I'm trying. I'm trying. Uh, I don't think so. There's no move. Preheat, change, more, and back. And more is actually... There's a speed and lights. You know... Really weird. <laughs> I mean, we just went through and leveled this thing, right? So it can't be that off. But it is. There we go. That's getting there. There's a nice big glob. See how this looks. I mean, this thing is very fast, but looks like we're gonna have to. Oops, I thought I dialed it in. It's really weird, though. Now we might be too close because I was overcompensating. <laughs> yeah, the ribbon cables are some people love them and some people hate them. Not obble, nah, let's see. No auto bed leveling. 220 by 220 by 250 is the. I'm going to level this thing one more time here. Why not? Obviously, it's not sticking, so there's that. But there's no baby stepping, which I'm not a fan of, you know? I'm not a fan of. And when I stop this, the heat didn't go down either. Just, just for, just for uh, everybody to know. <laughs> oh, Red, you're good. You're good. No worries, Kenneth. I appreciate it. Um, 
Let's see what happens here. Thank you, Kenneth. So see how tight that is? I mean, holy moly. I'll make it a little tighter than I normally do. Just because, why not? I mean, but... <laughs> when you get caught in the machine. Nice. Thank you, Kenneth. I really do appreciate that. Your first donation ever. Thank you so much. I mean, this is going to be interesting if it doesn't stick, though. We'll throw something down. Like that. Look at this. That's in there. I'm excited. I am too. Yes, Stephen. <laughs> I see your comment. Mods, that's fine. <laughs> it's funny though. I'm, I'm getting it nice and nice and tight because. This thing is so fast, it's not sticking. They show a move icon on the screen of their printer. There is a, I'll double check, but there is a move icon before I hit the print button. So, man, this thing is... I'm just trying to get this level again because why not? I'd love to. Yeah, I mean, this thing, I, I got this thing tighter than I normally would. Um, I mean, it's, it's to the point where it shouldn't have to be that tight. This is kind of odd. Here we go. All right. So it's relatively the same there. Yeah, preheat, then check bad. I did. Um, might have a dip in the center. It could. I'll uh, I'll check it here in a second. We'll we'll check it with a straight edge. <laughs> I think I. Yeah, I put a hole in the paper. <laughs> this paper's thin. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe it's too much, right? Will it fit inside the Ender 5 Plus? Probably. It is pretty tiny. I mean, the Ender 5 is uh, the Ender 5 Plus is a monster. Let's see. Going out of order here because I hit the wrong button, but that's okay. I'm over it. Poor paper, yeah. You're right on that. <laughs> I see Lightspeed got uh, I, th uh, I see Lightspeed got deleted there for a second. That's funny. Well, we're just paying to we're paying to time people out tonight, I guess. So if, if you just got here, uh, feel free to single someone out. <laughs> I'm just I'm not joking, but I'm joking. You know. I'd, don't do it. We, we all we try to do it in good fun, but yeah, look at that. Totally, totally tight in the center. Um, I'm just gonna. Poor paper, someone said. Oh, yeah. Whoa. You know what? Just for argument's sake. 
Maybe it was too thin of paper. Nope. That looks good, right? Not buckle in. I can get it under there. Mostly. <laughs> right after I say that, I can't. No. Yeah, I can. All right, we're trying this again. <laughs> so uh, Dan said, come get it. Yeah, there's a move button on the front, which allows me to do things like that. But once I hit the print button, I don't get the... Uh, it's very sad. I don't, I don't, there's no, let's see, no, yeah, once I hit print, I'll hit confirm, I should have uh, threw some more filament through there to make sure it's not clogging, but let's try it again. <laughs> Mike, you might be right, yeah. What is my name? Mario. Maybe. My name is Jim today. <laughs> Got my water. So it is uh, interesting. It's bringing the bed up to 80 degrees. For some weird reason. Interesting. It's bringing the bed up to 80 degrees. I don't know why. How many printers do I have? And why do I need so many printers? Um, I have to count them. And I have them because I make videos. And I do live streams like this. And that's why I have them. That's fair, right? <laughs> Dan's just asking for to get timed out here. So it looks... I wonder what this thinks we're printing. So the print on here says cube, and it brought the bed up to uh, 80. Yeah, it brought the bed up to 80, and it brought... It's bringing the nozzle to 230. That's ridiculous for PLA. <laughs> I do use them other than videos. I do I do stuff. I print things. Um uh, like this box from Clock Spring, which I absolutely love these little uh boxes. Woo! I print it. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Let's see. Yeah, it's not. This is rough here. I don't even know why we would need to be at 80 and. Let's see. We're going to do this. I got an idea. It leaves this nice little ball. I am printing with brown <laughs> filament, right? So there's that. Um, tools. Heat. It's at 210. Extruder 60. Okay, great. So let's move. Let's go up. And again, this thing is it's fast. Let's see if I can get the... Uh, extruder to dump. To 200. Yeah, look at that. 188. Interesting, the, uh, the heat... I'm going to reboot this thing. I think I'm going to reboot it because when I go to heat it up, it says it's heating. But when I go into heat here, I'm sorry, on the main screen, it says it's not heating. 
on the actual screen, it says that it's heated up already. So let's shut that down. Maybe something's crazy. <laughs> Someone said Dan to the corner. <laughs> Nobody puts baby in the corner. Let's see. Be nice now. Maybe. <laughs> so, we'll flip this thing back on. We'll see what it does. We'll see if it'll dump any filament without us. Uh... You did. It was a great time, uh, Stephen. It was awesome to meet you. And the burger was, the burgers we had were awesome. All right, let's try this again. Two ten and sixty, and we wait. Interesting. So I should uh, show you guys what I'm doing on the camera. There we go. Now it's registering on the front screen, too. That's really weird. <laughs> Thanks, Stephen. I appreciate that. Better, better behave now. <laughs> ah, we're all good. Adam in 3D. I met Jim at Earth. Uh, all of the good. Yes. The good old days of getting together in person. That is true story. I miss that. I miss it a lot. We're, we may start a cube if this thing will print for us. We'll, uh, I'm going to hit it with a little microfiber right in the center where it's trying to print. Smash that luck. Look, I'm doing it. <laughs> that's funny there all right where are we at we're we are already heated up so i'm going to go to uh tools extruder let's pull some filament in and let's watch it run through here i'm going to shoot like 30 millimeters through and see what it does <laughs> That's funny. That's true. That's true. Four ninety nine. Send da send Dan to timeout. All right, we're doing it. Someone, uh, someone can timeout Dan. That's funny there. <laughs> Thank you so much. Four ninety nine. Moses just says nice. Thank you. So, I mean, it doesn't look bad. Now, if we could get it to chill out on the temperature when I print, let's see. So I go back here. I hit print. Go, go, confirm. I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna see if it'll let me do the the preheat thing. And maybe it'll let me override the temperatures. I see no fan, preheat. Yeah, it didn't let me do it. Interesting. This thing is rocking. <laughs> He's still mods. Someone wants a refund. Oh, maybe I have to do it. 
Yeah, it just jumped it to 230 again. This is crazy. Let's see if I can bring it down right away here. Yeah, it's trying to it's just fighting me. This is nuts. There's no way this is going to print at 230. All right. I calmed it down. It is fast. It is, it is sloppy. It is going to be a mess in here. What? Ah, oh, man. I'll have to show you this. This is great. Check this out. Look at that mess. Look at that mess. Now that is a mess. Oh, yeah. We're supposed to try to time out Dan, aren't we? Let's see. I don't think that's Dan. I almost timed out the wrong person. There you go. I can do it. So uh, there you go. That's that's that. So what I might have to do is see if there's any firmware for this thing or or what. Because if we're over here, no, oh, that's right. Light, isn't it? There you go. We're looking at it right here, right? I dropped it down to 260. It's at 78 still. Um, but when it's printing, there's no option for... Ah, there's no options for baby stepping. It's just change the filament, pause it, stop it. And then the two that you can't see is more here. And let's see. Kind of see them. And back. And uh, <laughs> that's funny, Ethan's dead. Um, so what's crazy is I went to preheat here. You can see, uh, you know, if I bring this down, it is dropping the temperature, which is fine. If I go to uh, extruder there, I can go up like that. So now it's at 210. I can close it, which turns it off. I can go back, but I can't baby step. It's very sad. No baby stepping. And then we get this garbage. <laughs> I'm going to get myself a hot mess. So what I'm probably going to have to do kind of disappointed because this thing really moves very fast and uh, I, I was hoping that it would actually print this good I mean yeah gross let's see I got my handy dandy Maker's Mashup nozzle cleaner here. Nope, not high enough. Just going to clean up that. I'll make sure that's cleaned up. It might just be trying to go too fast. Or I, I could try different filament too. Yeah, this <laughs> I just got this garbage here. Let's see. Usually the uh, the Jesse PLA is very nice. I printed with it several times on several machines, and it's usually good. Um, <laughs> Dan rejected, yes. Um, slap on the Vision Miner. I should. Baby stepping is good. Yeah, I, I miss baby stepping 100%. Um because that might help. I mean,
What's interesting is it, it did, it's cooling down now. So what's interesting on this menu here, check this out. So if I'm on this menu here, I don't know what the better way is. There we go. You see that? It says extruder. I have it set at 210. The bed is at uh, a 70 right now. We can go to 60, which is fine. So it's set. I hit back. I hit back. And, oh, it actually worked this time. So these were staying at zero. So this was staying at zero, and this was staying at zero, which was really weird. There, did you do the Z offset? There is no Z offset, is there? That I saw. Yeah, so but I do know it's hauling, it's fat, it's trying to go super, super fast, and uh, that's what it's trying to do. What filament brand do you use the most? Oh, that's a great question. I use a lot of coax filament. Uh, I use the Jesse PLA uh, Fulament is all, all the matte stuff I've been using lately is Fulament, which is really, really nice stuff. Um, I just just bothering me. Hey, Brian, how are you? Just going to see if it moved. I mean, that's that's pretty tight right so that might have moved a little <laughs> we're just gonna make everybody mods tonight everybody gets a mod <laughs> once the print is started there's a tune menu there's not though i wish there was because I would be very happy if there was a tune menu that I could actually uh, change the, the baby stepping or Z offset. Ooh, that was real tight. Ethan's dad, how is the app going? If you guys have not checked out the uh, the scanner app that Ethan's dad and, and Ethan, I think, are working on, definitely go check that out. If someone has a link, you can throw it in the description. Or, uh, I'm sorry, in the chat. I mean, what are we getting caught on here? Squash the last bugs last night. Awesome. Next. This is crazy. It might just be... Um, now I'm getting in trouble because I'm supposed to be watching TV with Ethan's mom. <laughs> this is TV. Dominic, yes. I. I it might be. And it, I'm just, I want to make sure I'm not messing this up. I leveled this thing twice already. I've leveled a few printers before. You know, you never know though, right? You never know. So that's not bad. That stayed the same ish. And it didn't change. That one's probably a little high now. I got Twitch to work finally. Nice. Thanks, Steven. I knew I could count on the new wrench. Looks like Steven has some stuff on his Etsy store to help. I'm going to go this way. So th does this only work with that one Apple phone? 
the uh, that that new iPhone. <laughs> How many bits you make? <laughs> All right, I am like on any other printer. This would be fine. It is a little high though right now in the center. So maybe let's do this. Let's see. I'm just curious. Yep. We got a low spot in the center. I just grabbed the first straight edge I saw, so just just a hair low in the center. So there's that. It works with all iPhones since iPhone 10. Nice. iPhone X and newer. Any iPhone with a face ID. Do you plan on, or does it have to be an iPhone? Can it be an Android of any kind? All right. This is the uh, last hope. This doesn't work this time. So I'm going to let it do its own thing. It's going to heat itself and all that stuff. Unfortunately, I was born an Apple developer. Nice. Malaysia, how are you? There might be. Then I'd have to get uh, an uh, Octo print or an Octo. Bleh. I'd have to get my one of my Raspberry Pis with Octo print out if I could talk. That'd be awesome. So I'm, I'm kind of, I mean, like even Brian, Brian Vines is here. We did the Sidewinder X1. I mean, it leveled in minutes and was printing. Um, the only thing I could think of is that a couple things are happening. It's trying to preheat. It is trying to preheat the bed to 210 and trying to preheat the nozzle to 230 for PLA. And that might be a little hot. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to get some coax out. It's probably printing coax then. We'll try it. What time we got? 1040. Holy crap. <coughs> so I'll double check now that there's no uh, baby stepping, but I'm pretty sure there's not. Like six times now I've checked. Nope. Looks like it can turn the speed down. It just looks bad. All right, let's see if I can get... If I turn the speed down, let's see if I can get the heat down now. I mean, it's not even... You know what? should check... Interesting. That's a pretty fast. Ride. I slowed it down to like sixty percent, and it's it's still not printing. So I'll show you in a second here what it did. I yeah, I slowed it down like literally to sixty percent to try to get it to print here. I'm gonna check the belts. Because this, this is kind of loose here. And by kind of loose, I mean it's loose a lot. So that might that might have a problem. That might be one of the problems. And that one's not bad. But down here is really loose. Here. Nah, it's kind of hard to see, isn't it? 
There you go. Now you can see it. I mean, that's probably a little loose there. Hairspray might have to happen. We will, we might just have to do it. But I'll probably what I'm going to end up doing is messing with this thing and getting some prints going in the next uh, in the next day or two. Tomorrow I'm pretty much out of commission all day because I'll be doing a wedding. But uh, maybe Sunday I can come back out here and and get this going. I'm thinking this is the tensioner. It is. It is. Interesting. Huh. So the pulley's right here, and your tensioner is like, it doesn't make any sense. Interesting. Did anyone win the Mega Millions tonight? That's the question. Let's see. That's a little better. It actually twangs now. <laughs> Blue tape. Ka Ka Lama. <laughs> Yes, I did not win. I'm, I'm probably going to throw some Vision Miner on it, maybe. Uh, it might just be trying to burn too hot. For argument's sake, I'm going to throw some Coex on here. I know I can burn Coex a lot hot, hotter. Uh, so for argument's sake, let's do a change filament. We'll go out. It's going to preheat. While that's doing that, let me grab some Coex. There's some right there. So this is a uh, mystery spool from Coex. It's actually pretty like pinky red. Yeah, um, Mega Millions is over, that's right, over a billion. <laughs> that's awesome. I tell you what, I would, uh, man, if I won, let me know in the chat what you would do if you won, right? But if I won, obviously my family would be taken care of for many generations, right? I mean, that that's just, a, that's just how it is. And then... I take a chunk, throw it away uh, into into savings where I could live off the interest, hopefully, and just let that ride. And then I would take a huge chunk uh, because I wouldn't need a billion dollars, right? Uh, I would take a huge chunk and just I would do anything I could to help whoever I could, like streams, uh, whatever. It would be a lot of fun. I'd, I'd love it. So I'm so pumped. All right, so it's pulling it out. Here we go. I'm going to get it out of get it out of the filament sensor here. <coughs> yeah, it would be man, it would be awesome. I I know loyal uh, loyal uh, joked about it on a stream before about having a stream uh what did he call it it was a stream allowance or something like that but but i'm like seriously i would definitely i would definitely have to have a stream allowance then i would come find you guys and hook you up it would be so much fun a billion dollars man that would be sick you would be yes i would be 100 percent mr beast 
Watching some of the stuff he does is is awesome. Is so awesome. All right, last chance. Last chance. Turning good. We're going down through the down through there, okay. We're in. Confirming. It's sucking it in now. No one would be hungry ever. Correct. Maker Cable Station uh, would be awesome. <laughs> That's funny. Be loyal and buy everybody a mini. That is, uh, that's the dream. I'm just going to keep letting it push out until I get some of that other stuff out of there. Yeah, after taxes, you, you know, last I heard after taxes, it was still over 500. I know it's it's much more now, but I, I think it was over 500 last week or last weekend or something, still after taxes. <laughs> course we'd have to fight all the uh people who think i owe money so there's that so this is interesting uh finally seeing finally seeing the right color here Amen. I thought I was seeing the right color. We're still pushing brown out. 100,000 and I'd be good, right? Man. Still getting brown. What can brown do for you? <coughs> I, in my state, uh, you have to you have to come forward. It, it's a, it's actually a law, I believe. So if you win, you have to tell them. This is not coming out very pretty. doing here 200 all right uh yeah it'll be too much fun if i won it'll be it'll be crazy Interesting enough, this thing is still putting out brown filament. Let's go back. Extruder. I'm just going to let it go for a bit. Good one, Brian. Wait, I don't think you can see it. It is pulling it through. Here. Yay for spewing filament. So it is pushing it through, which is great. And it's actually red now. So that's awesome. How are things on the mountain? Brown out? Is this California? Uh, 
All right. Moment of truth. I'm going to let it fly one last time. Change the filament out just in case. We've leveled this thing three times. This doesn't work. I, I know there's a hair of a bow in the center of the glass, um, but, I mean, it, it should still decent stick. If this doesn't work, I'm going to play with this more on Sunday, and we're going to get going. We've almost been going for two hours, and a majority of that has been just trying to get this thing to print. <laughs> That's funny. I don't know where Dan went. Did Dan, did Dan bail? Oh, shoot. What did I do with my mouse? Oh, it's right there. I wonder if I accidentally... <laughs> oh, yeah, he's back. I'm with you. I would do the same. Yeah, he's back. He was talking. Yeah, okay. Woo. Someone scared me for a second there. I was like, crap. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good, Dan. I think someone uh, thought maybe you were still timed out. All right, here we go. If this doesn't work, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'll play with it again on, like, Sunday. Because tomorrow I, I got too much going on. Um, the touch screen's not bad. I mean, responsive wise, I think I wish that it had. Um, I wish that it had Z stepping or baby stepping or Z offset, whatever you want to call it. I'm watching this thing go down here. Um, yeah, it looks like garbage still. And we're at 230 and 80 because you need that for PLA. That's on their stock print on their, on their SD card. Um, maybe we're just missing something, but I mean, usually the stock print on the SD card is rocking. So I'll go back through, I'll look through, um, and, and see what's going on. A lot of slicer preparation stuff in here. And it's still garbage. So it looks like there's actually a port for your ABL if you want to use ABL, which is great. Yeah, we're done. Check this out. Ooh, there's my cup. How about, how about that? Now that is... That's uh, garbage there. Crazy. Crazy. It's almost like it's clogging, though. Let's see if I can show this. Let's see. Besides being blown out. Let's see if I can show. Maybe I can't because it's too blown out. Wow. Thanks, Logitech. That Logitech is crazy. I'll go around over here. Yeah, it's, it's trying to print way fast. That is a true story. But check out the the garbage. Uh, maybe, maybe it's clogging. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is shut this bad boy down. I'm going to slice something myself, uh, but I I got to get going to bed. It's uh, I don't even know what time it is. It's about 11 o'clock here, but I got to get up early. I got to get ready and, and head out uh, for a wedding all day tomorrow.
But um, yeah, I think they I think they said it like for ABS or PETG or something. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna check and make sure there's no clogs because it is kind of weird and I'm, I'm, this kind of gives me that idea. Um, it is printing absolutely fast. If it was gonna print this fast like normally, that would be amazing if it printed well. You know, um, yeah, uh, another wedding. Yes, 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 yes. But, but yeah, um, good night, Dan. Have a good one, Dan. Thank you for coming and, and being a good sport and being timed out. But yeah, I'm going to check for clogs. I'm going to re-slice something myself, uh, probably in, in Prusa Slicer. And uh, I'll get something going, and I'll get some stuff on social media. Probably be Sunday. I'm hoping Sunday. And uh, yeah, I think I think one of the big things is it's it's crazy. I'm not sure why they would slice something for um, two thirty and eighty for PLA. I, I guess I don't know. Uh, but hey, you never know. Maybe maybe I'll ask him. I'm going to reach out to him and say, hey, what's up with this? Also. <laughs> Excuse me. Also, um, like I said, I'll slice something. I'll throw it on the social medias when it gets done printing. But we will get this thing to print. I'm going to reach out to, I know Garrett over at 3D Print Farm has one of these, and he absolutely loves it. So I'm going to see um, if he had these issues too. Uh, it is, it's really cold here too. Uh, any, What's my idea on a Ender 3 V2? I really like the Ender 3 V2. I think it's a solid machine. It prints good, and it's solid out of the box. Um enjoy the chick chicken dance yes probably uh, i'm trying to remember if there's a chicken dance on the, the playlist but we could throw it in there I'll, I'll dedicate it to you uh tomorrow mike excuse me but but for everybody else i i really appreciate it everybody um thank you guys for swinging by i know i'm kind of bummed that we didn't get to see the cube because i wanted to see that cube print but I don't know how many times we could have uh, leveled it and, and tried again. We even tried two different filaments. Um, it's just kind of a weird, weird situation. So we'll get it going. I promise that. And uh, I'll, I'll make sure to show everybody on the, on the social medias. Um, and maybe even on Monday on Hot Makes, if I get some stuff printed Sunday, I'll update everybody on Monday night on Hot Makes. Um, this Monday night on Hot Makes, uh, we have some cool stuff going on. Um, we're announcing something new and, and fun for the next few weeks. Also, Andrew Sink will be with us. Andrew Sink will be with us. Um, and that stuff will start going out tomorrow as well, uh, if I didn't already put it out there. But, but uh, yeah, Andrew Sink will be with us Monday night, and that's going to be awesome. He's, a, he's an awesome dude, so I'm pumped for that. Um, <laughs> Dance Monkey at least once. Maybe, maybe. Let's see. <laughs> Dan. Oh man, too good. So yeah, we'll uh we will see. But we'll get this thing rocking. Um you have a live feed coming soon. Oh, tripod. I see. You're asking tripod if he's going live. Nice. Well, we'll get out of here if you guys are gonna go live. Have fun. I'm going to crash for the night, but uh, thank you guys so much for spending a couple hours with me here on a Friday night. Um, I really appreciate it. We're going to get this thing printing. I know it can print awesome. I just need to spend a little time with it. I probably just need to slice my own file and then make sure there's not a clog. Um, I might even, well, we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll check the firmware too. Um, make, make sure they don't have an update. Maybe they didn't update since this machine was made. And that's another thing we can check. Um, but everybody else out there, thank you guys for coming. Thank you for hanging out with me for a couple hours. Uh, very nice crowd for a last minute, uh, Friday night stream. So I really appreciate that. We will see you Monday for hot makes 6 PM central. Once again, Andrew sink is our guest. So come hang out, say hi to Andrew and we'll have some fun with that. Everybody else later guys have a great night. Thank you guys so much for being here.